Today we are going to show you how to properly blanch peaches. Peaches are one of my favorite things to blanch because they work so perfectly. Mm -hmm. And you know that that fuzzy skin is super great except when you go to eat it. Exactly. You don't want it in your teeth. No, no. <laughs> so we're going to show you the steps for this and how to keep it from going brown afterwards. The first thing that you need to do to prepare for it is to get yourself some boiling water. And then, you want to do it? I sure do. Okay. Yeah. And then go ahead and put your peach in the boiling water for somewhere around 30 seconds or so. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll go a little longer, sometimes I'll go a little faster. Okay. One of the really important things is to make sure that your fruit is entirely ripe. If it's still got a little bit of a greenish hue to it, then that skin will really stick. After pulling it out of your boiling water, you're going to put it directly in ice water. And then you put the next peach in your boiling water. So one of the things that I do to keep my peaches from going brown is actually add salt to the water. Yeah. I do one gallon to about a fourth of a cup. And this will last for a number of batches of peaches. It won't keep them from going brown for an extended period of time. If you're gonna leave them in here for eight hours, it won't work, but it'll work for, you know, a couple hours. There are a number of other agents that you can get, like citric acid or ascorbic acid, um, or some of the other agents that keep it from browning. Even possibly lemon juice. Yeah, yeah. But I found that the salt is something that I always have on hand and it works really well. At first, I was a little nervous about it. My neighbor showed it to me mm -hmm. and um, I thought, oh, it's going to make everything super salty, but it doesn't, so don't worry about that. Now you'll see that now, now that it's been in the ice water, that skin just peels right off. And normally I have a little container here to put the skin in the pit in, but I mean, look at that. Super simple. Super simple. Yeah. And so then after you get all the skin off it, you just put it right into your salt water. Plunge that one in and I'll help you out right now. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Now if you have any, any scabs or um, bird bites on your fruit, it might stick a little bit more at that point, but you just work around it. We a lot of times will get the seconds because you can get better deals on those from the orchards. Yes. We live in an area where orchards are plentiful around here, yeah. so We're it's pretty usually lucky. pretty easy to get those. Yep. And sometimes in a crease like right there, uh -huh. they might like to stick a little. Well, and I mean, this is so easy. I always have my kids help me with this part. Oh, yeah. The kids you know, like it. It's they a do. Good task for them. Yeah, no, it's kind of fun. There's something that's oddly satisfying about peeling that off. Mm hmm. Um, all right. And so now you have perfectly. perfectly peeled, beautiful peaches that are just waiting to be used in your recipes. If you found this tutorial to be useful, please click the subscribe button.